What's up? We are back for the second session here at Moore High School, and we have these two guys on here, man. Uh, very excited. The first group was a group. You guys were awesome, man. Uh, none but love. That was some good stuff, man. Uh, but we're just going to jump into this, man, get you guys out of here because they got practice right now. Uh, actually, you guys you guys play Friday at 8 o'clock? 8.30. 8.30? And who do you who do you uh, play? We play against Frankfurt High School. Okay, okay. And is it home? It's at home. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to get right into this podcast, man, and get them out of here. Uh, just if we're just going to do it, we're going to go right from left, get your name, your year, and your position. Uh, my name is Martin Hans. I play wide receiver and corner, and I'm in the class of 26. My name is Javis Wallace. I'm in class of 27, and I'm playing quarterback. Oh, man, you're the young buck they was talking about. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's what's up, man. That's awesome. Okay, and, and like I asked that, man, uh, you guys got a support system, man? And, and shout them out, man. Uh, I want to shout out to my mom, my dad, and Coach Ju. He taught me everything I knew. I want to shout out um, my mom, my dad, Coach Mays, and Coach K. Okay. How's your relationship with Coach K, man? Coach K, we real close. We've been together since middle school. So, yeah, he's been helping me throughout the whole entire process and stuff, helping me through the high school and all that. So, yeah, it's been, we've been close. Yeah, he's a good dude, man. He's a good dude. I only met him once, but, uh, yeah, hell of a guy, man. Okay, and, and if, I was, if I was a recruiter and I came in to ask for your transcript, what, that, what would that say about you? Uh, I'm a pretty smart kid. Uh, I got a 3.2 GPA, and on the field, I'm, more, I'm versatile. I can play about anything except for linemen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty versatile. I know how to go up and catch the ball. Um, I would say that I got, I mean, I'm pretty smart. I got all A's and B's, like a 3.5, 3.8 GPA. And on the field, I would say I'm a, like a dual threat quarterback type of. So, yeah. I would. There we go. That's what's up, man. It's crazy that you're 26 and you're 27, man. And, and they brought you down here. And this is the next question, though. Do you see yourself as a leader? I know you guys are young, you know what I mean? But but coach got you down here for a reason. So are you a leader of this team? I can be a leader at certain times. Some I'm really I'm quiet for the most part, but if I need to be a leader, I will step up and be a leader. Okay. On the field, definitely in game, it's like I have to keep on pushing them, telling them don't give up, don't get tired, because we don't want them going back to that last year stuff. So yeah, I would say that I'm a leader. There you go, man. With you being a 27, man, that's just, you know what I mean, and the quarterback, you know, uh, that's inspirational, man. So just keep it up, man. And just, you know, don't forget, you, you know, that these are your brothers, man, and they got your back, man. Yes, sir. That's awesome, man. And, and, and now how do you feel about this team? Uh, I feel like it's a great squad. Uh, same team from last year, but it's like the coaching got us way better and got us in a better motivation for towards the season. Yeah, I definitely feel like they improved a lot from last year from watching from the sideline. And, yeah, I feel like we're going to do something this year. Yeah, with you, sorry I'm keep singling you out, you know what I mean, because you're, you're just young and you're, you know, you're, the, you're, you're the quarterback, man, of this team. Um, did, you, did you have, uh, like, during summer, man, did you, did you have a time where you thought, man, like, how am I going to be the quarterback of this team? I have, actually. Like, there was just been moments where I would think that, like, these balls aren't going right or like I just can't get into the rhythm of it and then other people other quarterbacks would just like do better and I'm just thinking what could I do and what am I going to do like am I going to be anything this season am I going to have a position change but yeah I, 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 I was believing in myself throughout the time there we go. But you did. You had that belief, man. Because I know these guys already talked good about you, man. And that's that's awesome, man. I already feel like you guys got that brotherhood going on. And, and that's crazy, man. That is crazy. Okay. And do you have any personal goals for yourself? Uh, I want to have over 1,000 receiving yards. It's a hard thing to do, but I feel like that's one of the one things I want to do. Uh, throughout my four years of high school, I want to break Ray Vaughn's record. And that's really all I got for that's all I want to do. Yeah, that's a big record too, man. Sure. Just step up and just be that leader too, man. Wow. Sure. Okay, what little league team did you play for? Uh, I spent I spent six years playing for the Patriots, and then I played one year at the Chargers, and then I played one year at the Louisville Jaguars. I played for the Highview Mustangs and Derby City Cardinals. Okay, so you you grow you guys you guys grow up in in the area? Or? Yes, sir. sir. Oh, you guys did. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And uh, do you guys have? A position handshake or a team a team handshake? Nah, not yet. Not no, yet. Sir. No, 
<laughs> no, you guys got to get that, man. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, favorite memory uh, playing football so far? Uh, when I played for the Louisville Chargers, it was my very first year playing there. We went to YNC National Championship in, in uh, Florida, and we won that championship. Um, my middle school year, eighth grade, we lost. Like, we got blew out, man. And then next game, we came back, bounced back, and then we beat the team by like, by like 52 or something. I had six touchdowns that game. So, yeah, it was a big moment for me. No, there we go, man. Okay, what other sports do you play? I only play football and basketball right now. I plan on getting track, but yeah. Um, I hoop a little bit, but I'm ready to get in track this year. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. What is your favorite, or who is your favorite artist? My favorite artist is Drake. <laughs> my, <laughs> man. <laughs> my man over here. <laughs> my, my, my favorite um, artist is probably... um. My favorite artist is probably Lil Papa at the moment. Okay, what jam do you listen to before you go out, before you hit the doors? What What's on your, your ear pods? Mm, Gremlin by Kodak Black. Gremlin, okay. Um, <laughs> okay. How about um Lil Baby? Okay. PlayStation or Xbox? PlayStation all the way. Xbox. Oh, my God. You got you got big hands, man, because that's all you're gonna play that that, that controller, man. <laughs> okay, uh, your favorite fast food? I like Chick Fil A and the Buzz. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. What's your order? Um, <laughs> I get a uh, chicken quesadilla and two Chipotle milks. <laughs> oh, damn! They be growing on that, man. <laughs> okay, and and for you, you probably haven't really had a lot of film. So, do you have do you? Okay. What is your what was one weakness that you're trying to 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 work on? I look very lazy on the field and I feel like if I get that out of me, I feel like I'd be a great player. Um, I say probably some of my body language and like the simple fundamentals like my drop back and all that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just simple stuff pretty much. Nice. Okay. This is a great podcast, fellas, man. But the last question is who are you most excited about playing this season? Uh, my my favorite game I want to play. So I'm ready for South Warren. That's probably the game I'm looking forward to the most. South Warren. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's the same for me because that's that's a game I know that I'm gonna have to step up and like not act like a freshman quarterback. I'm gonna act like a senior, so I'm gonna have to step up that game. So definitely South Warren. Wow. So, yeah, this has been a great podcast. This is session two here at Moore High School. You got the Young Bucks, 26 and the 27. Uh, man, the future is very bright, man. Hope best of luck to you, man. And just, just keep getting better, man. You, stop being lazy on the field, man. <laughs> <laughs> Cleats the Whistle podcast. And like I always say, man, these, these, these guys' stories just being written, man. I can't wait for the next chapter to see what it says. Cleats to Whistle podcast.